my name is Alan Peake. Um, right now I'm a college student at UCCS in Colorado Springs. Um, and in the summer times I guide a little bit and I travel a lot, fly fish. I've been interested in fishing all my life uh, since I was a kid. When I came to Colorado, um, after I got out of the service, well, as I was transitioning out of the service, a couple guys kind of adopted me and told me, showed me how to fly fish. They, they showed me, they kind of educated me. Um, and it's definitely helped me um, since my time getting out of the service, uh, come back into the real world. Most people think of fishing on Fountain Creek uh, something that you do in Manitou, or maybe even above that, um, but not really downtown, especially. You know, it, was, it smelled weird. There's a lot of trash, so it's not something that a lot of people do. A few years ago, they used to they used to care about the river, but now it's I don't think they even care. You know. This, yeah, this is the most trash I've ever seen. I've been here over 50 years. I mean, we saw today lots of homeless people living in plight, and a lot of it's mental health issues, and it impacts that waterway in a big way. It's a very delicate uh, topic, the homelessness situation. And, you know, when we have volunteers go out to do cleanups, Many of those folks ask for garbage bags. They don't want to live in filth. I just was on a cleanup crew this weekend. Yeah, uh, well, we'll clean this creek here. Creek Week is sort of a lot of people's first introduction to what is happening with the creeks and waterways um, around them. You know, gosh, I didn't realize that there was a creek in my neighborhood, or I didn't realize the amount of trash that is out there and it's inspired a lot of people to continue participating in Creek Weeks in addition to other cleanups throughout the year. You know, as a citizen here, I think that it's really important to take care of this and it's something that we all can enjoy, you know? And it's important because we should want to have clean water, you know? How, in what world do we not want clean places to recreate? A lot of people don't think there's any fish in here, so that's that's one problem. And they're, uh, I don't know how to get people to come down here, but I think once they did, they they would never drive back up to the mountains. This isn't just a, a trout thing. This is also our clean water. And I think it's going to take a multi-jurisdictional, multi-year um, collaborative effort where we are working with the homeless community and service providers. Those trout are amazing and I, we saw it today. That was a, that would have made anyone on Deckers happy. That trout today that, we, that I caught and we caught it in the city and it was absolutely beautiful and clean and healthy. That fish was healthier than some of the browns that I've caught in the South Platte. And here we are right next to a giant power plant. And right in the middle of the city, right in the middle of all this poverty and drug usage and crime, here are these gorgeous trout. And I love it. I think it's an amazing thing and uh, I hope people love it too. I really do. Mm -hmm.